Innovators from Cleveland are abundant. Did you know that the first three signal traffic light was invented right here by a man named Garrett Augustus Morgan Sr. The Willoughby Historical Society knows this topic very well and they have a special event happening next weekend, next Saturday. Joining us live this morning is Bill Henrik and Bill, this month is a big anniversary when it comes to this traffic light invention done by Mr. Uh, Morgan Sr. himself and Willoughby plays a really important role in this as well. Yes, Garrett Morgan tested his light at the near the corner of Erie and Vine Street 100 years ago this month. And we are rededicating a uh, signal that we had the welding department with the Willoughby East Lake Schools build back in 2011. And recently we refurbished it. And we are having a ceremony where we're going to have the, the Morgan family in attendance. And tell me about this. So he was born in uh, Kentucky, but later moved to Cleveland. And it, what amazed me here is that he had only a sixth grade education, but was able to invent yes. so many things. Yes, he, he had a sixth grade education, but he also had the sense to get tutored. So he, he was from Kentucky to Cincinnati, and then he was tutored while he was in Cincinnati, especially in grammar, because he knew the importance of reading and writing. Um, he invented so many things. He was actually called the Black Edison. He invented not only the three or he invented the tra three signal traffic light, but he invented uh, improvements on the sewing machine. Those of you that have seen the zigzag function, that was his invention. Uh, he invented a gas mask that he actually saved lives. He was a hero. He went into a mine explosion in Cleveland and he rescued two people, brought them up. Uh, he also invented the friction clutch, as well as hair straighteners, and he even came up with a self-extinguishing cigarette. Wow, wow. Now, Bill, coming up on the 18th at the Willoughby Municipal Court, you're going to have this rededication. What exactly have you guys been working on and going to be celebrating that day? Okay, well, we are going to have uh, some dignitaries there, the Willoughby Mayor and Council. We have a representative from Dave Joyce's office. We have the Willoughby superintendent because proudly Garrett Morgan IV, the great grandson of Garrett Morgan, went to Willoughby South High School. So they will be in attendance. Um, we, we are there for the three, tripic, three signal traffic light, but we will also be talking about all the other inventions that he did. In addition to his inventing, he was also a very civic-minded person. He is responsible for a lot of things that promoted the lives of African-Americans at the time. For example, he uh, created the Call, a newspaper for African-Americans, which later became the Call and Post, which is still in existence today. He also in, uh, started up a group called the Cleveland Association of Colored Men, which later on became the NAACP. He's been inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame, and he's also been listed in a book of the top 100 African-American inventors. Wow, Bill, so much. A trailblazer right here in Cleveland, Ohio, Northeast Ohio. Thank you for sharing details about the upcoming event. And we're going to share it again here. The rededication of the memorial honoring Garrett Augustus Morgan Sr. And the traffic light invention is next Saturday, November the 18th. It starts at noon. It is at the Willoughby Municipal Court. And I'll have more information for you on our website, news5cleveland.com and also our free News 5 app. You know, right here in Cleveland, you think about it, man, organizing traffic back in the day, I think sure. they said that a crash between a car and like a uh, horse carriage kind of got his mind thinking. There's a better way. Yeah, and then he sold his patent uh, for like $40,000 to GE. Wow. So, wow. just crazy stuff. That was really informative and very interesting. So.